The enthalpy of vaporization of chloroform is 31.4 kilojoules per mole at its normal boiling point, normal referring to the temperature required for it to boil at one atmosphere, 61.7 degrees Celsius. The hint here is this is an equilibrium point, just as I mentioned, vaporization, freezing, um, melting, so forth, are all equilibrium temperatures. Determine delta S system, delta S surroundings, and delta S universe when one mole of chloroform is vaporized to 61, at 61.7 61 degrees Celsius in one atmosphere. Well, if the system is at equilibrium, then as I mentioned before, delta S universe must be zero. The units for entropy are typically joules per Kelvin mole. So if we write delta S universe being zero, equal to delta S system plus delta S surroundings, then we could rearrange this equation and recognize that at equilibrium, delta S system equals negative delta S surroundings. Knowing the temperature, then, and enthalpy, we can solve for delta S surroundings. Remembering that delta S has units of joules, so we need to convert our kilojoule values to joules, and convert our temperature in Celsius to Kelvin, and we get a negative delta S surroundings of 93.8 joules per Kelvin mole. But remembering we're at equilibrium, then delta S system will be equal to negative delta S surroundings, and the two negatives will make a positive 93.8 joules per Kelvin.